Another, another way to graphically describe what's going on is to actually follow the trajectory of a particle, imagine a fluid particle that's placed in the flow over a period of time. So um, you can actually think about this a little bit like an experiment. So a lot of experiments are actually done this way. So like what you do is if you want to see what's going on in a flow pattern, you know, obviously many fluids are transparent. So what do you do? You put a little particle in there and then you kind of look with a camera to see what it's doing. One way of looking with a camera to, to see what it's doing is to, to basically, you know, expose the camera for a certain length of time with a lot of illumination. And what you'll see is that, you know, the particle moves from one place to the other and creates like a little streak. Um, and uh, so that's called a path line. So basically all that is, is, you know, the, um, the trajectory of a particle over some period of time over which, let's say, that camera is um, open for exposure. Um, so obviously the definition is that you just take the fluid velocity at any particular point, or sorry, the fluid velocity at any particular point using our Eulerian description is, you know, u is a function of coordinate x, y, z and time, and v is a coordinate of x, y, z and time. And if I imagine at any given time, the velocity of the particle that's in the flow is doing the exact same thing at that coordinate. Um, and so what we need to do is basically integrate that over time. Um, so in that sense, like the coordinate x, y, z becomes the coordinate of the particle. Um, and then you basically integrate that to figure out what's going on. So um, for any initial condition, let's, let's call it x, p, 0 and y, p, 0. So that, that's like the initial position x and y of a point, of some point in the flow. We just integrate these equations of motion um, to, to figure out wh how x and y of an imagined particle change over time. And so that's one way to, um, you know, to visualize a flow. In some easy cases, although it's not always possible, in some easy cases, you can actually um, eliminate. So if you solve for x of t, x p of t and y p of t, you might actually be able to try and algebraically eliminate the t, in which case you'll find um, you know, some relationship between x and y that defines a line. right? But it's not usually necessary. Like You can think about this as a parameterized line. Um, from your calculus class. And um, so, so path lines are one way to describe what's going on in a flow. It's easy to do computationally. It's easy to do experimentally. Um, but you still need to already have the description of the velocity fields um, u and v in order to do that integration.